Listen, man. I'm so tired of hearing this fucking Tupac shit, right? Man, it's some bullshit. Look, I don't know. What the fuck are you looking for? 20 some years later, you read raiding read this nigga house. Talking about some he ain't have a proffer and all this shit. And he was running his mouth. Well, the nigga been running his mouth. Listen, dog. They, listen, man. If, if, if he go down, Puffy going with him. The fuck you mean? He clear as day said Puffy killed the motherfucker. So what y'all going to So if y'all going to kick his motherfucking dough in because he said, because he's, they kicked, they say he kept us listen to some shit. Well, they say he, they kicked this door in because he said he was in the car at the time his nephew killed him. Well, then, okay, so you just going to go off that shit and arrest him? What about the shit with Puffy? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the nigga talk too much, for sure. I told you, all these so-called gangsters talk too much. Man, this entertainment shit is, this shit is crazy. I never seen so many, and it be real so-called street niggas that get up and won't shut the fuck up. They'll tell every and anything, how they was getting work in, how they was moving it out, murders. I mean, these niggas just won't shut the fuck up talking. That's all he do. Talk, talk, talk. He get on Vlad, get on these shows and just won't shut up. God damn. Nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I ain't mad, dog. Today's time, I never seen a nigga do so much motherfucking talking, my nigga. I mean, incriminating themselves is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to talk. You want to talk about some shit. But when you get in a position where you incriminate your fucking self. But listen, man. But like I say, I don't know what this is about. It don't make no sense to me. What can you be looking for 30 years later? Like whatever the fuck it was in there, you think that'll be there now? Like somebody done told some shit. Yeah, you know, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, all them conspiracy theories about Suge did it and all this shit. When they line that motherfucker, if y'all ain't seen that motherfucking video, when they line all that shit up, they got Keefy D for them bricks of cocaine and um, what you call that shit, and bombing fluid shit. Listen, when they caught that nigga with that, they was about to give him like life or 20, 30 years for this shit. And they was gonna take his mama in with him. Nah, he was solid at first. He was like, fuck it, I can do the time. But when they got to talk about his mama and his sister and his girl or something, he was like, nah. He said, I'm, I'm, I got some shit for you. I can solve the murder. So they worked the deal with him. That one was said in the documentary. They worked the deal. So as he was telling the story about everything that happened, how Puffy had said, lined it up where they supposed to took the hit for like a half a million dollars and yada, yada, yada. So they was already going to kill Tupac. Just so happened, they was already going to get the nigga anyway. But just so happened that night, just a coincidence that they jumped on his nephew that night. Tupac them had jumped on his fucking nephew that night. So, you know what I'm saying? So, they seen him in traffic or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all know the rest. But everything that they're saying, he's saying they're showing pictures of back then. They lining it all up, time frame to time frame. And it all added the fuck up. And it goes, gets back to fucking Puffy. And what I want to know is, y'all y'all motherfuckers, this nigga told this story. Like, this is what takes me to what Suge Knight said. You know the reason it ain't arrest? It ain't no fucking arrest. Because Tupac ain't dead. Now, you don't want to believe that shit, right? You don't want to be like, nigga, come on, you know this nigga did. That's a conspiracy theory. But when you look at it, you know, when you... When you look at like that whore. When you look at it, it is right. Like, nigga, why ain't nobody... Nigga, he... How the fuck do y'all get Keefy D a deal? Y'all caught him red-handed with the dope. We know that. Y'all caught him a cut him a deal because he told what happened to Tupac. So that's why y'all let him go. So why wouldn't no arrest behind that shit? I, it, it beats me. But y'all definitely let him go. And y'all gonna tell him y'all gonna come back 30 years later and try to arrest him back for some shit 30 years. I know it ain't no statutations, you know. That's, you know what I'm saying, of a, a murder. <laughs> oh, shit. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, it, it, it don't make no sense to me. It's not one to one, not adding it to one, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just not adding up at fucking all. You know, like I say, uh, what, what the fuck you thought you was going to find? They ain't fuck with Puffy not once, man. 
You know what I'm saying? They ain't fuck with Puffy not one motherfucking time, man. But that was the realest documentary I had ever seen. Yeah, like I say, ain't no statute of limitations on murder, man. You know, you could be forever, but I'm just saying, man, if y'all was gonna do all this shit and the rest of the same motherfucking nigga, why ain't y'all do it while his mama was living? You know what I'm saying? You know, he could have got her some closure about her son. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. It just it's just not making sense. We don't know. We'll find out though. But like uh, but like I said, man, basically, Puffy put the hit down. And I believe that shit at the time. I believe that shit like a motherfucker because this was the all them rumors they had before. Suge Knight did it. This person did it. The LAPD did it. All these niggas just want to be seen on TV running their motherfucking dick suckers off. You know what I'm saying? Running their motherfucking mouth. You know, trying to, you know, just to get on TV and have some spotlight on them to write a book, to write this, to get a, you know, a documentary, a movie. Motherfuckers is just lying. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, they was just lying about that shit, man. Nigga, see how my mind, my mind, fucking this bitch just be going blank for some reason, man. The alcohol fucking me up. But yeah, but, um, yeah, Puffy, I know he's scared right now. He gotta be. You know what I'm saying? He, he gotta be. Oh, yeah, that's why I was going with it. Oh, that's why the fuck I was going with it. Why, why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you fuck with? Puff? Yeah, why wouldn't you fuck with? Like I say, back then, why, why the fuck you wouldn't? Um, why would no motherfucking arrest? You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I know I'm backtracking and saying the same shit. I told you my mind fucked up. But why they ain't get nobody? You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, this this nigga. Listen, dog. Y'all gave him the deal. Playing this day, we heard you. We we heard him on the documentary talking to the fucking police. We heard, we heard, we heard him take the plea. Like, okay, if you do stuff for me, I do. Well, tell us. He told every fucking thing. So obviously, y'all believe this shit to let him go. And thirty years later, y'all go kick his fucking door back in. Like, y'all, I just it don't shit. That motherfuckers do just don't make no sense to me, man. Like I say, a lot of people made a lot of money off Tupac name. You know what I'm saying? So who knows who wanna be in a spotlight? Who knows who wanna just bring some some shit up from the past and mention Tupac in and had a whole, whole world watching, you know? Cause one thing about it, man, you know, a place like Las Vegas, they don't like to lose no case like that. Because think, Las Vegas got cameras everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck do you kill somebody in Las Vegas? It's damn near impossible. Even back then with all the technology that we that, that they had. You know what I'm saying? All the cameras around and all the bystanders and motherfuckers kill somebody and get away with it. That that don't happen much out there. You know what I'm saying? So they, they got some type of vendetta out. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't gonna have that shit. We don't give a fuck how long it takes. We gonna find out who committed this motherfucking murder. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's my outtake on that. I just, you know, that's about, that's all I had to say about this shit. It's just not making sense to me, bro. I know, I know right now, niggas, Puffy need to be shaking in his motherfucking boots, my nigga. But like I say, what's done in the dark always come to the light, my dog. Now, could dog have been lying? He could have been, but he told one hell of a story. And, and, and then they had shit to prove it. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they said proved it to the T. So y'all, you know, check that. Like I say, man, y'all check that shit out, man. You know what I'm saying? Then hit me. Let me know what's y'all opinion on it. Trap Talk Blue.